Hi, everyone. <laughs> I wanted to do a whole Boom Boom Bang Choo Choo Train rendition of a Christmas themed video. I was gonna like bring out the tree, do the absolute most. And then I realized there are so many things that I just feel like I need to catch you guys up on. Where have I been for the past eight months? What am I doing? Where do I live? What do I do with all my time? Who I'm dating? all of that. Still gonna make it Christmas themed because I want to wrap some presents and I'm not gonna tell you who these presents are for just in case they watch this, but just wanna catch you up because there's like a lot. <laughs> I just like haven't really updated you on, so that's what we're gonna do. Hi, my name is Maddie and I have not posted for eight months if you're new here, but please subscribe. Great, so let's get down to it. So, where do I even start? I feel like between the ages of 19 to 21, I was a flippin' mess. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know what to do. I graduated college during that time. Didn't know where I was going after college. I was a mess, a literal mess. There were certain places I wanted to go, certain things I wanted to do, but I just didn't know how to take a chance on myself and how to do what I felt called to do. There's this quote that I love and it's like, if you feel deep in your heart that something is right, it probably is. I wish I would have learned that a lot earlier. <laughs> Flash forward to February of 2022, I basically decided, you know, I need to take a chance on myself, figure out what I'm doing because once again, literal mess. I was like, okay, I'm gonna move to LA. I'm gonna move to LA and I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna plan ahead, make sure that I, you know, do everything I need to, but I'm going to move to LA. And this scared everyone around me, rightfully so. <laughs> Nobody knew what was going on with me, not even myself. So <laughs> basically I begin looking for opportunities, looking for jobs. I forgot to tell you what we're doing today. I'm gonna sit down and talk to you, catch you up on my life while also like keeping it kind of on brand and holiday themed and wrapping presents. Did I say that already? Oh my God, I'm like a freaking mess still. Anyways, I'm fresh out of college, applying for jobs, and a lot of them are like places I have never heard of. <laughs> I was like, sure, that's my dream job. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going for social media, working on content and working on, you know, admin stuff. And I ended up getting a job. This is so weird. This is one of those reasons where I'm like fully trust in the universe. I got offered a job um, by a company I had already worked with on a like creator relationship. I've already like made content for them. I like am on their PR list. They're an international beauty brand, which was really exciting because like I said, I was applying for jobs that I had like no idea what these companies were, but the fact that I already had a relationship with this company was freaking cool. So basically I get a job offer working as a social media girly and I'm like, okay, I can do this. And then around mid-March, my parents drove me across the country from Wisconsin to LA. They helped me drive here and move me in. Um, and I have an apartment with one of my good friends from Milwaukee. And that's really fun because I've never had a roommate in my life. I cannot tell you how good it feels to finally feel like settled in a place and finally feel like I have a home. Everybody like really wants to like travel and do all these like crazy things and like that's wonderful but I feel like I kind of had that and and now nobody tells you how good it feels to like have your own space and to feel settled and to be in a routine and I truly think 2022 has been like the year of just feeling so much more whole and feeling like I'm honoring myself and the things that I want to do, not somebody else wants me to do. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like this is gonna have to be a whole other video. Let me get into my little my little gift montage too. I don't know about anyone else, but I love to make gift baskets. <laughs> I don't like to just give like one gift. I That's just like not my vibe. I like to like build a color coordinated basket. Everything has to match. And if it doesn't, I will not give it to them. <laughs> This is my first basket I'm building out of the bog bag, which is so freaking cute. I just like hope that the person who this is for is not watching this because it's kind of obvious. But anyway, <laughs> so I don't know, this is a pretty big blanket, but I wanted to put the Minky Couture blanket in here. Wait, that's kind of a vibe. Wait, let me see. Stop. 
stop. That's actually so cute. Hold on. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, it's not done. Don't worry. Also, if you're wondering, this set, it's like yoga pants, but they have like a little slit. And then the shrug is from Strut This. Super cute. I'll link it down below. I also have these like socks from Bombas. Okay. <gasps> so cute. Stop. Okay, I feel like that's cute. I'm probably gonna get like a white little bow and tie it here and maybe some like tissue paper. <gasps> so cute, I love it. Okay, next up, I am wrapping this purse from Melly Bianco. So cute, so little. So we're gonna wrap this. I wanted to wrap them and make them really pretty because then it's almost like decor. I wanted to do kind of like this papery look and then put like pink ribbon around it. I think that's like very chic, but it's still kind of neutral. So where was I? Got my job, started working out here. Um, what are some key points that have happened? Um, I got a boyfriend. This is kind of like a really bad video for me to make because I struggle so much with multitasking. <laughs> Shall we talk about the mans? <laughs> Look at how pretty. He is um, so wonderful, so patient, um, very warm and kind to me and everybody around him. Um, he's very smart, very uh, cute. <laughs> but yeah, he makes me a better person and I just love him the most, so yeah. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so this is this present. <laughs> but I just realized I'm not gonna be able to, unless I have a bag. Hold on. Ew, I just said bag. That was the most Wisconsin. This is the biggest one I have and I still don't think it's gonna fit. But we're just gonna wrap that at a later date. Next up we have this like cutie teddy bear bag. I love it. This one I have like jewelry going in as well. That is the story of my boyfriend. We actually grew up in the same town um, and both found ourselves in LA. And he was actually, this is so funny, so cringe, but so funny. Um, he was actually my first kiss when I was 15. Okay, that's so cute. And then I think I'm gonna put it in here. Okay, I feel like that's like pretty cute. And then I have a few goodies from Kitsch, which is like one of my favorite satin pillowcase brands and they do like a bunch of hair stuff. But like how perfectly does that match the vibe? And then she'll open them and they're just like, that's so cute, stop. And then this is like a little crossbody for my mom. And then I'm gonna get her a bottle of wine and a pair of Uggs. Cute. It's got little, it's got little cats on it. Okay, so I think that I am out of gifts. I know that wasn't a lot of wrapping, but <laughs> we're gonna pretend like I had a lot more prepared. But yeah, that's my little catch up. I had so much fun talking to you guys and let me know in the comments below if there are any other holiday themed videos you want me to do or anything like that. Okay, love you guys. See you in the next one.